All right, well, this turned out to be a two-part video. This first part is just bringing the lift home and unloading it. Um, what you can expect when you, after you've ordered a lift and once you bring it home, some of the parts are rather heavy. I didn't originally intend to unload this lift by myself, but being retired, it's the middle of the week. Most people are working, I'm not. So once I got started, I just couldn't stop myself. I do not suggest that you try to unload your lift by yourself. Get some help, it's a whole lot easier. Well, you've always wanted a lift, or in my case, a second lift. Needed a little more room? Well, here's what it takes to get to this point. And uh, it takes a little bit of effort, but it's well worth it. Well, we're here at the freight yard, ready to pick up the lift. Just gotta ride around here into the yard and get her loaded. Well, I grabbed fork extensions. When I got my two post lift, they used a forklift with just short forks and yeah, it was fun. They tried to load from the side. Extended forks wouldn't lift it. Too long. All right, I'm gonna stop videoing. It actually went pretty smooth. Uh, just set it up on the trailer and raised the back end of it up a little bit, slid it on up there. Very interesting thing is at the back of the load, that sticker right there, the green one says, do not forklift. And then the knot is crossed out. Also, the crating has holes for the forklift tines. As you can see, that scratches up the bottom surface, but I'm not worried about it. It's a uh, lift after all, it's gonna get driven on. Put forklift tines in and out of there, and there's nothing under there to protect the uh, painted surface. Okay, question. Can you back that trailer down through here and make this turn and put it in that bay. It can be done. Uh, nobody said what I was going to back it in with. Um, to do this, you're going to have to cheat just a little bit. You need something with a little bit tighter turning radius. You might also need something with a little more load carrying capacity than what this tractor actually has. But it did do the job and it didn't flip over backwards thanks to the little addition I have uh, wheelie bar, so to speak. Tractor doesn't have any problem pulling the load, but it does have a problem with keeping the front end on the ground. Maybe I need some tractor pulling weights. Anyway, after much maneuvering, I finally got it lined up close enough so that I could unload the lift straight into the bay. Should make the job fairly easy. Right. And that, that is a safety tire. When you can't see around the load, you just set a tire up and when it tips over, you've backed up far enough, time to stop. All right, now we'll open this thing up, see if we can find some instructions. Did a little extra wrapping, try to keep the cardboard on it while I was running down the interstate. Whew. It's got a little weight to it. Set this off to the side. Ooh, got some stuff rattling around in here. Kind of seems like it escaped from this big box right here. Ooh, and that ain't a light box either. Yeah, this ain't good. Got a little tiny bushing rolling around in here. A bolt. I mean, a nut. I found a bolt rolling around in there earlier. This isn't good. 
assorted hardware just randomly laying in the back corner there. Hopefully not too much escaped. Wonder what that came out of. We'll find out. Oh yeah, there's more small nuts and washers laying up here too. Oh, there's steel plates inside this. This isn't just steel rods. It's a heavy duty stuff right here. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be carrying this by myself, but it's too late. I already picked it up. A little hole in the bottom of that box. It comes pretty much the same way that the two post did with big metal shipping plates and it's all bolted to that. But I'm definitely gonna need some manpower to move this thing because that's a big hunk of steel. Down here under the bottom is more parts and two more boxes right here. I'll see if I can get those out. All the bigger box isn't coming out of there until we get some other parts out of the way. And here is a inventory sheet sticker taped right to the middle of the box. And it doesn't want to peel off. So we'll try to do this and not cut through a whole bunch of other stuff. Woohoo! Now we're down to the nuts and bolts of things. but I want to get that box out. So I guess I'm going to cut that band and pull those two bolts out. Ah, a little beat up on the end from being slammed into with forklifts. No, that could not happen. Man, and there are sharp edges all over these things. The other one was the same way, like little sharp points sticking out everywhere. I managed to not cut myself on the last one, so let's do the same with this one. I don't know why I'm trying to put that nut back on there. Uh, let's see. There's a good place to stick my hand in here so if it's to fall out, it won't get me. A hey, half rotten. Two by two to pry with. I'm sure it'll work. It did work. It's not going to fall out because it is underneath of this one. So that one has to come loose first to let this one move far enough to come out. Oh well, they all gotta come out anyway. Now I'm going to stay out of the way and not let this fall on me. Oh, this is not very heavy at all. Well, at least one end of it isn't. It has a big enough plate so that if I put my fingers under it, on the column, I can set it down. Well, there we go. Those are not very heavy at all. One person can handle those easily. Well, I don't know if you'd want to carry them very far, but I mean, yeah. So I think I should probably take this out the other side. How heavy is that? Let's go around there and pull on it and see how heavy it is. Because if I wiggle it and it falls, I think it's going to fall that way. <laughs> uh, yeah, that ain't exactly light. Now I can move it out one end at a time, I think and not endanger my life. Well, that's a two-man job, at least. I would say you can uncrate it like I've got it here by yourself and not be in any real danger of hurting yourself, but I don't know if the average person, unless they're just a touch crazy, should be moving 
any of these parts by themselves any distance because it could yeah they're they're quite heavy all right here's what we have we have uh, a whole bunch of parts but better than that we got a whole bunch of stuff we got to move in here to get started building this thing and uh this has been in the planning stages for a while. There's the uh, wore out tape on the floor where I was marking where I wanted to set it at. The first mark would have hit the door. So I made a new mark and then made new marks up front. So I know about where the feet are gonna set. And once it's put together, this is going to go on top of it. The build table, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Don't need it anymore. Build a big shop, they said. You'll have all kinds of room, they said. And what they didn't say is you got to stop buying tools. What do you think, Scoobs? Huh? And maybe if you didn't have random engines sitting everywhere, you might have a little more room. I have a plan, I think, sort of. I swear I do. And yeah, I thought you had a plan. What are you gonna do with this? Drill press can't stay there. Woohoo! Now, to get some manpower. Yeah, that stuff's gonna be heavy. And. I think that's it. And to figure it all out, we have a diagram that I printed out because my instructions weren't in the package and instructions online. But to keep from having to go to the last couple pages to look at the diagram, I printed out the diagram. Introducing man's greatest invention. The wheel. Harbor Freight just made it affordable for everyone. I want you to know that it is at this point that I am shooting video only so that I can fill out the accident report. I think I'm going to lower the front of it a little bit because it is downhill and if it takes off it's going to haul ass. I would rather push a little harder than have it accelerate and end up launching itself all the way into the shop. All right. Now, I doubt this thing is going to move 
very much left to right because it has to cross the planks. Well, it's sliding on the uh, dolly. That was pretty stupid, but hey, there's eight casters under there, so I didn't figure they were going to collapse. Now, I want to get this out of my way. All these two by fours and stuff. And the jack, so that if I have to run, I don't trip over stuff. Safety third. I have a huge gap between two planks right here that the casters are going to get close to, so I'm going to try to persuade the back end of this. Oh, nope. Just so happens that one does have a screw in it. Wiggle, wiggle. Now the idea is if that gets far enough that way, I can pick it up with engine hoist. Yeah, if I'd have left this thing with a downhill slant, I'd be going about 30 miles an hour right now. <laughs> I could use a little bit more distance on it because the wheels of the uh, engine hoist are gonna be sitting on the downhill slope there because it starts sloping downhill right at the door. So maybe I could get myself a couple more feet, at least another eight or 10 inches, and I could pick it up. So what this is gonna need is the two dollies move back a little further and then that'll put a lot of weight on them and hopefully they don't crush or I don't know about that All right, folks, there we are. We are far enough to pick it up with an engine hoist and roll it all the way back into the shop and then play silly games with it. Was that crazy or what? All right. But once I get it in here, then I've got concrete to work on with the engine hoist. Out there, I can't move the engine hoist around because it's all dirt. So, uh, yeah, get an engine hoist. Plan B, if nobody dies. Oh, gloves. Where'd I put the gloves at? The reason I'm pushing it from this end now is because I don't trust that jack as much as I trust this dolly. That jack tips over and I'm 20 feet away from it, I probably won't get hurt. But if the jack tips over and I'm right on top of it, it's probably going to whoop my ass.
when you're half crazy, sometimes this kind of stuff works for you. Let's back up a little further. So let's not overstate the obvious as far as how overloaded these Harbor Freight furniture dollies are. And that's it, as far as it's going to go with that. Uh, I just put my arm underneath there, didn't even think about it. So these casters have been welded to make them a little stronger, but this is really pushing it to its limit because I got a lot of overhang on this end, so it's going to have the majority of the weight on it. cow it rolled instead of having it so far up underneath the center I'm gonna let it share the load with the other one a little more all right I need about three more feet maybe four to get the door to shut and we're in How about that? Don't ask me how I learned how to do stuff like that. You don't want to know. Maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> 